Hey guys, hopefully you're doing well. It's been a minute since I made a video, but in this one, I wanna talk about how you can successfully create campaigns that help you book more calls because I know a lot of ways that other agency owners create their campaigns and they could be doing it a little bit better that actually helps them scale quicker because they have a fuller calendar. Now, if you don't already know who I am, my name is Shader Theory and I used to make content quite consistently on this channel with the goal of actually helping me get more clients. But now I've sort of pivoted to just making content on this channel to helping more agency owners. And in this one, let's jump into how you can successfully create more campaigns. So the problem with how people go about creating campaigns is that they think about an offer that they know how to do, or they think about some deliverables that they know how to do, and they go out to the market and say, for example, you might know how to do Facebook ads for someone. And then you go, okay, well, I know how to do Facebook ads. I'm gonna go try sell some Facebook ads. But here's the thing. If you want to make decent money in this game, it's not about selling what you, you want to sell. It's about giving the market wants what it wants. So a lot of people make the mistake of saying, oh, okay, well, yep, I know how to do this. Let's just go try to offer this to the market without any afterthought of what the market actually wants, which is why it's important to, when you actually take sales calls, actually take down some notes and actually have a database of what people say on sales calls so you can align what people are saying on the sales calls with your product to have a tighter feedback loop. So let's get into how you actually go about creating winning campaigns. Now, typically what most people will do is, as I said, they have something that they know how to do and they try sell it and they'll put together a campaign, they'll put together their offer that they've thought about and then they'll just try constantly sell this offer as well, right? Regardless of how good the metrics are, regardless of how good the reply rate is, the positive reply rate is, the appointment booking rate, they're just trying to sell this thing that they know how to do. But again, if you wanna make cash, you need to sell something that the market wants. Now, how do you figure out what the market wants? As I said, you can either listen on sales calls or you can use outreach to figure out what the market wants because you'll know that the market wants it based off of how positive your responses are. So for example, there's this offer structure here, right? So we help niche get outcome in time frame without pain point. So what you can do is, this is the formula to reach out to people with, is you can take this outcome here and just have five different outcomes that you're offering. So what you wanna do is sort of structure three to five of them and it'll look something like this. Close two to three deals within 90 days, add 250K in GCI within 12 months, generate 60 qualified leads, just to give you an example. And so what will actually end up happening is you put 250 leads into each of these different campaigns. And essentially what you're trying to figure out is, okay, which outcome is the one that's actually wanted by the market? And then that can actually be your offer. Instead of saying like, oh, well, I wanna sell this thing and regardless of whether anyone actually wants it, they can just, you know, I'm just gonna try to sell this as much as possible. You can do like three to five different campaigns, have all these different outcomes, put 250 leads into each different campaign, and then you can analyze and be like, okay, I put 250 leads into each campaign, they've all been sent now, this one didn't do too well, this one didn't do too well, and this one did the best. So here's what you're sort of looking for. A 1% positive reply rate is okay, but scale this if you're desperate, like if you've done a bunch of different tests and you can't find much better. 2% is good, you can scale. 3% is a banger and you can scale. So this is ideally what you're looking for because what's actually gonna happen is as you start to scale the campaign, you're gonna see that those numbers are gonna probably like halve or like decrease by 25%. So if you had like a 3% positive reply rate, at scale it might look like 1.7% or 2%. So that's why you wanna have like a three to 2% initially so that when you scale, the metrics are still good. Because if you scale if you scale on 1%, it might go down like 0.5 or 0.4, which that's not that great to scale as well. Now this is just a preview as to how I booked 30 calls in one week using sales assets. I just thought I'd do a little teaser. Now, if you want the full masterclass, because as you can see here, like there's a lot that goes into it that actually helped me book 30 calls. If you want the full masterclass, comment below this video, masterclass, and if it gets enough responses, I'll do a full breakdown over the next week or two weeks as to how I actually booked 30 calls in one week. And this will probably take like an hour, hour and a half to present, but if you got value just from this little segment of it, which is a very small part of the entire thing, I'm sure you'll find value in the entire presentation. So if you want the masterclass, comment below and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.